I think I figured out what Entourage actually is. Like, picture the Wolf of Wall Street, but it feels like a movie star. I know that Leo's already a movie star, but like, just like the Wolf of Wall Street himself. It's, um, forget it. Just, uh, just review this movie. The fuck was that intro? Okay, so Entourage. So Entourage is based off the HBO show that ended a couple years ago, basically about four guys who hailed from Queens, New York, moved to the West Coast to hit the big time. We see the crew once again where we have Vincent, Turtle, E, who looks exactly like Michael J. Fox. Like, take a second. Like, do you see it? And of course, Ari Gold and the drama right where they left off still living their carefree lives. And these guys are successful people in the film industry. All these dudes follow the character Vincent, <laughs> hence the name Entourage. And Vincent in this movie, who has starred and directed in his own film, finds out that his movie is going over budget like you can't do that when you're trying to make a movie and it's up to his agent Ari to borrow the money from someone to make sure that this movie is going to be successful if the movie's not successful then he and the crew go back to Queens New York and in that time of getting money we see the entourage dealing problems with the movie they're trying to make and within their personal lives now I was pretty excited for entourage the trailers made it seem like it was gonna be the next awesome dude movie since the Wolf of Wall Street I swear do a drinking game where you take a shot every time they say fuck on screen like you'll be toast oh no 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 actually just don't take advice from me that like you'll be dead. Yeah, but overall Entourage ended up being an extremely fun time. Oh my goodness. Like I said before, you have the original cast back together still doing their shenanigans, but their chemistry was so awesome. It brought the comedy level to new heights. And it does such a good job balancing out what the characters are going through. Like if a scene is about Vince, then it's about Vince. If it's about drama, then it's about drama. And lots of the things that were happening to every single character was absolutely hilarious. Sometimes I was like, holy shit. That did not just happen. Ari in particular, because in the movie he's trying to get more money for Vincent's film. But he has so many things piling up on him, like you really feel like this character is about to explode. He's basically a ticking time bomb. That all falls down for the writing for Entourage. It gave us these characters, well according to their acting and their dialogue, that they feel very real. Well not overly real, but I'll touch on that later on. And for those who are wondering, well do I really need to watch a show before going into this movie? The answer is no, you don't have to actually. I mean yeah, the show will give you more information on how the crew rose to start. Them, but they cover very briefly on who your characters are for it to be its own standalone movie I can imagine huge die-hard fans of the show won't feel like this is a two-hour long episode because it's not It's a satirical movie that in a way over exaggerates on how the actual film industry is which is full and full full of shitheads and assholes. In fact, Haley Joel Osment was one of those people in this movie because my god, he is a major dickhead in the movie. I mean, yeah, sure, he was great in the movie, but his character painted this picture that the higher-ups in film are not the greatest people in the world. However, Haley Joel Osment was awesome. I want to see more of him. He proves he can still act and actually be funny. Hasn't aged well at all, but still a talented guy. Please return for Kingdom Hearts 3. And I know the whole gimmick of Entourage was all these celebrity cameos, you know, just like in the TV show. And I know it worried quite a bit of people because it did want to rely heavily on their appearances to bring in comedy. It's weird actually, I mean, although it does do that, it's kind of cheap, but when you look at these celebrities playing themselves, you think, that's actually genius. As you see the movie over-exaggerating on the film industry, you see the celebrities over-exaggerating themselves, which is absolutely hilarious. Although some celebrities don't really fit in the joke they're trying to play off on, sometimes you're like, oh, why is that person in there? And I know some can say, well, Ryan, that's actually part of the TV show. I'm like, well, yeah, sure, that's a TV show, but this is a movie. If a TV show wants to be a movie, then make sure that all these celebrity cameos actually work. Fortunately, though, most of these celebrities fit in with the story, like Ronda Rousey as herself. I have never been so frightened and attracted to a woman at the same time. Until Ronda Rousey showed up on screen and she's a monster, she can kill me. And that's really the whole point of these cameos is that they're supposed to be fun and they look like they're having fun on set, which really enhances the experience. More like the Ronda Rousey experience. So in the end, Entourage was a good send off to the crew with awesome chemistry. It didn't feel like some long ass episode of Entourage. The celebrity cameos were awesome. Some fit in the movie and some really didn't. It was surprising on how some of them actually fit in the story. And I literally lost count of how many there were. I mean, seriously, there was a lot. Overall painting this big big ass satirical picture that the film industry is just full of dicks. So I say if you want to see Entourage, it would be a very high matinee price. I mean, hell, I would even argue that you could pay the full admission. I say this because it's one of those movies where if you want to make the experience better, bring a ton of group of people. You guys will have a blast with this movie. Or even a good party movie at that matter. Have you guys seen Entourage? What did you think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, leave a comment below. And as always, there's a link for my Twitter and my Facebook in the description as well. Keep in contact with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But in the meantime, I have to get going to live that Entourage life. That's it's not going to happen for me at all.